help his underwee dears. We are here with chewing the cud. Oh, I just came over all Mrs. Doubtfire. Here we are, ready to schmooze you with showbiz stories, bedazzle you with buzzing bolts of brilliance from the deepest recesses of the internet. And like Mrs. Doubtfire's stockpot encounter, it wasn't just a flash in the pan, it's our new segment. That science that is. But before we set your tits on fire with all that, we go to the man who can't remember the last time he had a bang or a flash. It's Mike. I can remember the last time I had a bang. It when? was about a second ago. <laughs> I've been lurking around the internet, peeping around the corners and lifting the edges of the carpets to find some stories to delight you, including how you can prepare for post-lockdown coitus. Ooh. And I have some hot showbiz news, including how a celebrity has been opening up and welcoming us inside their intimate spaces. And you can always find us while you wait for the swelling to go down. Just look on our social media for The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us do this show as a podcast or watch us on YouTube, have a search for Chewing The Cud and hit subscribe. That's right, ding the little bell end. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your little name bobbing along at the bottom of the screen right now. Breaking news, Mike. <laughs> There was an old bishop from Buckingham who spoke of young girls and Buckingham, but a bishop from Wales took the wind from his sails when he spoke of young boys and Buckingham. And that's not the worst of it. We have further developments in the story we brought you last week about Larry, the lorry driver from Lytham. Leary Larry from Lytham's lorry loaded largely with leaks, launched lengthways along the lane and landed loudly on Lady Lucy's little lodge leaving the load of leaks in lines along the leafy lane and six sick hicks nick six slick bricks with picks and sticks. Speaking of sticks, I need to know, did you ever play poo sticks as a child, Mike? I did last week in the bathroom. No, not that kind of poo. I know, I do it in the bath. There's nothing I like more than tossing my matey in the bath and playing with my little ducky. You sicken me. Let's just play. Game of the week. The producer can't be with us today. As he started a new job in the lee of a picturesque ridge, lies a small, unpretentious winery, one that pampers its fruit like its own babies. Hi, I'm Mike Benyon Rowe, and if you like fruit wine as much as I do, then you'll appreciate the craftsmanship and quality of a local vintner, who brings the musk melon goodness to his oak chardonnay, and a dazzling- Mike, pe you know you're just reading quotes from Shit's Creek, don't you? This week, we're playing Show As You Draws, and that's an artistic challenge for Mike. So Mike, exit stage right and hop on the number seven bus to our art studio while I'll explain the rules. On the bus, okay, bus time. Get your bus pass out. While many viewers are used to saying things like, Alexa, play I Am Sailing by Rod Stewart, or Hey Siri, play Agadoo by Black Lace, or even Hey Google, play Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley we have our own remote personal assistant who will generate random topics and all Mike has to do is channel his inner Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello or Raphael and depict the topic for me to guess. What have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got to do with anything? Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power! Um, shall we get the first one? Yeah. Okay. So this is a song. Okay. Okay. Oh, is it a bomb? It is. Okay. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. That says Woman's Weekly. Is it a Victoria Wood song? Ah. Uh -huh. Hit me on the bum with the Woman's Weekly. Smack that's, me on the bum with the Woman's Weekly. That's part of the song, yeah. Let's do it. Which is actually known as the Ballad of Barbara and. And, and a man. Ba Barry and Frieda. Oh! But yes, it's the Ballad of Barry and Frieda. Oh, I didn't know it was called that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The next one is a sport. Oh. Okay. I will not get this. Well, you've had sports one before. Is it a mountain? 
Not a mountain. See? It's that, that, that. Hellbot bunny ears. Uh, not quite. Hell book. Not a book. It's not a book. It's not a book. Is it a magazine? Something is, else? Is it a is it, is it a newspaper? Not a newspaper. Paper. Bunny ears. <laughs> Hell news uh, bunny no, ears. No. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that was crap. I know, why did you not get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Should we have the next one then? Yeah. yeah, okay, so this one's a group. A group? A group. A popular musical group? A popular musical group, yes. Okay. A... The Power Drills. Nope. The Killers. Not quite. Oh. The the Shooters. What's that then? Is that a person? No. Nope. Is it a flower? It is a type of flower. Ooh. Is it the Stone Roses? Not the Stone Roses. Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. There we go. Come on then, Michelangelo. Let's what, see what's next. So the next one's a country. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Geography's not my strongest point. Is it a, is it a bird? That's, this is a type of bird. Turkey. It's Turkey. Right. What? It's nothing. That's a brilliant turkey. Yeah, it's the only country that is named after a bird. Which is why I drew it. The next one's a person. Ooh. Okay. A human person. A human person. SpongeBob SquarePants. No. Nope. Oh. Uh... What does it say in what have you Facebook? Written? Um, is it is it the one that invented Facebook? Who's called? I don't know. Um, my, it is. My, my gut is Berg. My, that, my, that's my... so close, you're still not going to get it right. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, that's his twin. Mark, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Got a, whatever I said, that's his twin. Okay, next one. What is it? Okay, it's an object. Oh. Not an objet d'art. Just, just object. an object. Yeah. A regular old object. Just a regular object that you might have lying around the house. Is it a penis pump? It is a penis pump, yeah. You know, you can do your countries and your people, but if you do something smarty, I'll get it straight away. Do you own a penis pump, Mike? Uh, no, I don't. No. Neither do I. <laughs> just, uh, I just I'm not averse to one if somebody wants to send one in. <laughs> You a can new send one. your penis pumps to <laughs> Chewing the Cud. Yeah, a new Studio one. 406, <laughs> Islington Mill, <laughs> Salford, M3. <laughs> a new one. I want a jizzy old one. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought you wanted a jizzy old one. No, I, I want it. a brand new one. <laughs> <laughs> Self-addressed envelope so we can return it back to <laughs> Right, next one is another object. Oh. You ready? Yes. Oh, squeaky. Oh, no, squeaky. Oh, that's better. It is more. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is it a crescent moon? It's not a crescent moon, no. Oh. Um, how about if I just put this in here? Is it a love egg? It is a love egg. 
What the hell have you drawn? Why I was are you going doing like for, a duck head I, uh, no, upside no, you down? See, <laughs> the bit I was going to do until you said a crescent moon was I was going to put some hands here. You've never been with a woman, have you? No. <laughs> Neither have I. So that could be an exact replica. That's what I thought yeah. they looked like. I That's put great. a spot there for it. Sling us another one, bitch. Last one. Last one. Okay, this is a musical group. Good. Okay. So, um... Okay. So you see? The Beach Boys. It is the Beach Boys, yeah. Oh. Well done, you. Well done, me. I didn't even get to do the bit that was going to say the boys. Oh, well. That was memorable, but for all the wrong reasons. Coming up soon, we have even more of Mike in the buzz. But after the break, we've got Lee and the showbiz. Don't you dare go anywhere. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we talk to the man who, when asked if he was able to change a tire, said, into what? I've got a gold chiffon jumpsuit, will that do? It's Lee with the Showbiz News. Only tires I've got are spare ones. <laughs> it's just some Showbiz News. Do you like to have a look inside a celebrity home, Mike? No. No? Okay, <laughs> and that's this week's Showbiz News. <laughs> No, does it not tickle your fancies? <laughs> tickle your fancies now? Do you not remember MTV Cribs? Yeah. Yeah, it got a bit... Mm. Mm. Like, well, this is this is my gold jet ski with spinning rims. Well, it's we're like, going uh, we're going to talk about a celebrity's house now, oh, okay, anyway. So fine. just zone out for five minutes. Okay. Miley Cyrus is home. Oh, now I'm interested in this. Are you interested in this? Yes. So so she has invited the world, the world, to to come inside. She's her house is called <laughs> Sorry, just, beautifully. You're about to say that she's expecting the whole world to come inside. No, what well, you can if you want to. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Um her beautifully boisterous Los Angeles home. That's how it's titled. Okay. And it was designed by her mum, Tish. Oh, Tish. And Tish. <laughs> Tish. Yeah. That's a letdown, isn't it? Yeah. Here's me mum, Tish. 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 So you got Miley. Yeah. Billy Ray. Yeah. And Tish. Tish. I don't know if they're married anymore. Well, they would have been at some point. Yeah, but I don't, you know, semantics, semantics. Yeah. Um, so we have a picture here of, of Miley and her, and her mum, Tish. Okay. Um, whom is whom? Okay. So the, the older one <laughs> is Tish. The younger one is Miley. Miley's the Ooh. one with the mullet. Oh, okay. Not a feeling the mullet. Yeah. So, yeah. So she went, Mom, will you decorate my house for me? In that exact voice. Mm. So um, it, this is the blurb. It hasn't even been a year since she purchased this six-bedroomed house. 6,800 square foot. A lot of, is that a lot? That's a lot. That's is a it? big house. It's this a, is a big bedroom house. house. Okay. It's yeah. It cost over five million dollars. Okay. And and these are some of the rooms that she's got inside it. So she's got a glam room. I've got a picture of her glam room here. That's Miley being glamorous. Okay. In her glam room, she's got a music studio because she's a musician. Mhm. Mm that's a little bit garish for me. Not overly keen. Did on you that. just say that's garish for you? Yeah, I know. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, she's got a boudoir. Oh, I'd hope so. Picture of her bedroom, her boudoir. Uh huh. <laughs> she got a bit Elvis then. Uh -huh. I did. I came over all Elvis. Because would you, would, are you a fan of pictures of yourself in, the, in, in a. In I do the... have a picture of myself in my bedroom. On all fours? Looking um, over your shoulder? <laughs> with a finger in my mouth. How did you know? Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, yeah. nice. No, it's with my family. Oh. Oh, now you feel awkward, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, you want to take naked pictures with your family, that's that's your decision. Um, so, th that's all lovely. Everyone's like, oh, nice, 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 blah, 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 blah. The thing that's really irritated people about her house is her bathroom. Okay. Particularly the fact that she has a massive mirror next to her toilet. That's when the issue, not the fact she's got a, a, an organ in there. An organ? Oh, I'm an organ. well, she's a musician. You know, you never know when the muse is going to strike. You might know, be sat there pushing one out and think, oh, I need to make a song out of this. <laughs> Where's my organ? <laughs> 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 music? Yeah, but 
Why? I don't get. Uh, that's uncomfortable. Ooh. She must either be really, really at ease with herself mm. to be able to sit there while she. But well, it's not facing. I know, but you can still, you can still see yourself. You don't have to catch yourself out of the corner of your eye. No, look. There is no way you're not going to see yourself. It's it, that bathroom is the equivalent of Mel B's bathroom in her mansion, where she had toilets facing each other, so that her friends could sit and watch each other having a poopy peep. Was that not just so they could have a conversation? It's weird. Weird. Anyway. Yeah. Let's move on to something a little bit more highbrow now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know I'm, you know I'm a fan of Netflix. I, I, I'm aware that you like to flick your net. I, I, don't, I do. I'm a fan. Have you watched a televisual programme called Special? Were you recommended this by any chance? I have may have mentioned it in the past. Did someone say to you, Lee, you're special, watch this? No, you're going to feel really bad. Okay. When I, so, so Special mm -hmm. is about a gay man. Okay. Called Ryan, who has mild cerebral palsy. There's a picture of, of the, the poster for the, for the show. Okay. Um, and there's two, there's, there was a, a, an original series, Series 1, mm. which had 15-minute episodes. And it was all about his life. He kind of, like, up until kind of his mid-twenties, lived with his mum, and she'd been very overprotective. Right. Um, and he decided that he'd had enough, and he wanted to go get out and live life. So he got himself a job, got himself a place to live, and mm -hmm. genuinely, it's very funny. The guy that plays him actually has cerebral palsy himself. All right, OK. Um, he, he initially kind of starts off by telling people, and people, he's a little bit embarrassed of how he is, so he tells people that he was in a car accident, which is why he right. has the kind of physical tics and stuff. Uh, and there's stuff where he, he decides to pay for a male prostitute to pop his cherry. It's funny. It's a laugh a minute. Oh, yeah. um, it's been recommissioned for series two. Okay. Which should be at any time now. Ooh. And they've moved them from 15-minute episodes to a full 30-minute episodes. And we've got it. We've got a picture. I think I actually watched it. It's ringing bells now. Is it ringing a bell? When you're talking about someone paying a prostitute for for sexy time. Yeah, and it's all really embarrassing because yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't really know what to do, and then they become friends, like mm -hmm. like what happens in real life. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a picture here of a scene from the second series where they go to prom. Okay. Because he never went to a prom, which is cute. It's cute. It's cute. So yeah, it's a really funny, lovely. Now you wouldn't think that. You know, topics around disability and stuff could be funny. People kind of like, oh, no, we shouldn't really make it. People get really scared about making yeah. jokes. And, yeah. But, you know, it is genuinely funny. And it's great to see a gay person who has a disability that is kind of embracing mm -hmm. that. So it's really fun. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Let's move on to something even more highbrow. Even more highbrow What else that? could be highbrow? Even more highbrow. More highbrow. I'll look shocked. Gemma Collins is going on tour. Oh, So oh, yeah, Gemma Collins is going to hit the road in what with she's her face <laughs> many times. Boof, boof. No, she's... Head of East End is boof, 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 boof. She, it's, it's going to be called Gemma Collins' Big Night Out live tour. We've got a picture of it, so it's actually happening. So she's going to around the UK. She's going to go to Glasgow, Newcastle, Manchester. <laughs> The exact details of what is actually she's going to do has not been released yet. Oh, she doesn't have a clue. Um, yeah. So, but she's going, it's going to be a fabulous night. So, yeah. Um, so she's... she's, she's uh, I, who's the type of person that would go to see Gemma Collins? I don't, hostages. I don't know. <laughs> People that are made to. Yeah. Um, she's, she's, Maybe she's, it's gifts. Sorry for your birthday if I didn't like you. <laughs> Happy birthday, what have I got? I've got tickets to a show. Oh, what is it? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, it's a surprise when you it's get there. It's a surprise. It's a, oh. I'll treat you to a meal afterwards if you can still stomach food. So, she's dead excited about it. Right. It's going to be absolutely fabulous and the best night out. Compared to what? Best night out since you got babies. I don't know. But that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, she's, she's been on everything, hasn't she? She's been on Diva Forever, Dancing on Ice, Celebs Go Dating, I'm a Celebrity, Splash. To be fair, the Splash was funny. Did you ever see her in that? No. That Splash was basically celebrities it. throwing themselves off a diving board into a pool of water oh, okay. with Tom Daly and Tiny Paris Speedos. Uh, um, she literally killed Tom. herself. Lit when she got out, her entire body was covered in bruises. Ooh. Um, so not only is she kind of doing her own tour, mm -hmm. but she's decided she wants to throw her hat in to the ring of being considered the next James Bond. 
Well, this is, that's a mock-up, in case you, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Oh yeah, I thought that was an actual real photo. She wants to be the first female James Bond. She okay. said, I'd love to do a particular job which is about keeping secrets. I am constantly obsessed with watching actors' movies and I can see myself being the first female James Bond. She f what? goes on further to say, a plus-size girl, an Essex girl, the name's Bond, Gemma Bond. It's got a great ring to it and I've got a licence to thrill, baby. Now, I don't know whether this person has a huge ego or it's it's... Like a persona that she's kind of so she on. Ha she has said that she has a, a persona called the GC. Yeah, the GC. Um, for when she's being basically unreasonable. Um, it's not me, babe, it's the GC. It's like, that's you. That's just your initials. I yeah. thought we'd made a deal that 2021 we would stop making stupid people famous. Well, she's already famous. Oh, we could revoke it. Oh. Anyway, I'm sorry to bring us down, but that's the end of this week's Showbiz News. Thank you for that, Lee. Always good to know that Gemma Collins is out there doing work. But coming soon, we have our new segment. That's science, that is. But before that, we have Mike in the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who enjoys playing naked Star Wars so much that he's bought shares in glow-in-the-dark condoms. It's Mike in the bus. <laughs> Can't see it, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> Just wait till you see me do my chokehold. Oh! Ooh. Hey, I've been having a bit of a rummage around the internet. Have you? Yes, I've warmed my hands first, though. Good. Yes. So I know you don't want a cold shock. No. No. Um, so are you friends with all of your exes? No, I wish them all the most harm and that they were dead. Oh, OK. Well, that's a good thing. Is it? Yeah, because it leads nicely into this next story. Great. Um, when a woman has, um, shall we say, shocked and appalled when she found out her ex was still alive. Oh. Seven years after he apparently died. Ooh, awkward. So, yeah. Um, so uh, when she was 14... Yeah, TikTok user KJUL5, KJUL1 to 4, already in use, um, basically met uh, someone online, okay. got into a bit of a relationship long distance, right? got into a big fight, and the next thing she found out, he died. <gasps> right? Ooh, Seven that's... years later, comes back across her on TikTok. No, okay. no, not as in finds. Oh, right, okay. Not, not comes across her on TikTok. Oh, right, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Finds on TikTok. Fancy seeing you here. Pretty much, yeah. Thought you was dead. So, <laughs> <laughs> thought you were dead. <laughs> thought you were dead. Yeah, it turned out he was in ho He did actually go into hospital because he'd been stabbed. Okay, but he didn't pass over. But he didn't pass over. Right, okay. But she thought, she, he stopped talking to me, he's been stabbed, he must be dead. Was he stabbed in the hand? Because <laughs> he couldn't use his computer? Computer? His handheld computer? <laughs> his the phone, phone maybe? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the phone. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, she thought that it obviously died. Oh. Yeah, and her grief has affected every relationship since. Because who's to say when they when the others are going to die? When the next one's going to get stabbed? Just going to just going to pop off? Exactly. Well, <laughs> quite popping off, is it? Oh. Did he have anything to say for himself? Um. He. He didn't really know. No. Um. <laughs> Had, had somebody so, actually said to her, he's died? It, no. She, um, just, she, she just made the assumption. Oh, okay. um, No body. No, um, but she found him again on TikTok, and then two days later, he posted a picture of him and his boyfriend. Oh, burn. Yeah. You know, who hasn't faked their own death to get out of a relationship? Exactly. I, I changed my name nine times by the time I was 15. <laughs> I have a gravestone. There's in one. a graveyard that states that I died when I was 18, just to get out of a relationship. Very expensive funeral. I was going to say, but that, then when you were 18, would you still be able to read the gravestone? Because stone withers and ages, doesn't it? What a and You've also got the, the picture in your, your attic you're not allowed to see. Um, but moving on. Um, when lockdown finally ends and life goes back to normal, what are you looking forward to the most? Ooh, for me, just living life to the full, 
And giving giving friends and family hugs. No. No. Being able to go places without a mask on. I kind of like that. Okay, how about sex? Oh. No. Okay. Yeah, oh well, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> you did the same face that you do when you say yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. I'm ex fully expecting a tsunami of love juices to rain down. A tsunami of semen, you could say. Yeah. Yes, a little bit more alliterative. Some yes. love juices. Love juices. In general. Fluids. 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 Secretions. Yes. <laughs> tsunami of secretions. <laughs> so, okay, is what we decide on there. Um, so yeah, when lockdown finally gets lifted, yeah, there is expected to be a sex fest. A sex fest? A sex... Sex capade, no sex fest. Sex extravaganza. Okay. Um, <laughs> calm down, Lee. Um, <laughs> lots of shagging. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of people expecting it because after the last pandemic um, in 1920, there was a boom of children being born nine months oh. later. Oh no, that's when I was procreated. Yeah. No, 19. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. sorry. Um, <laughs> so they're expecting that to come out. So. A, a company called, or a clinic from Mars, is the name of it, are releasing free condoms. Releasing them? Releasing them. Into, into the, the wild. wild. <laughs> yes, that's, that's where you go with that. So people can find them. Yeah, so gentlemen, if, if you want any free condoms, just, you can go online and ask for them, and it will send some through. Yeah. If you can't find one in your local park that's free, that's released itself. <laughs> Please do not right pick up condoms one. in a park and use them. Truffling. <laughs> What's truffling? Truffling? Yeah. Do we, do we, shall we explain this? I think you need to, I've not I don't do this, I've just heard about it. Oh, okay. friends. So truffling mm -hmm. is when people like to find used prophylactics. Mm -hmm. I love the word prophylactic. Uh, it's very posh, isn't it? It sounds very um, posh. And they like, to, they, like to, they like to consume the contents that are inside them. Right. Wrong. Right. I always thought it was called spelunking. Is that not when you just go in a cave? You come in a cave. <laughs> um, Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day, so thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, so it's been a long, long, hard winter. Oh, it say. has. It's been a long, hard winter. Um, so they're saying, look, look, they're giving everybody out just condoms. Condoms yeah. for everyone. Be safe, people, because you don't want to come out of lockdown and end up going into a clinic. No. You don't want to end up with a hideous, tiny baby. Moving quickly on, okay. <laughs> What was the worst thing you ever did at school to get out doing work when you were a pupil? When I was a pupil? Yeah. Um, I think I said that my grandma had died. That's a bit bad, isn't it? We've all done it. We've all said our family members died. Have we? Yeah. See, at my school, if I tried that, they'd go, oh, really? They'd have phoned me, Mum. How are mm, you doing? <laughs> I wasn't like high radar pupil. So I was. Uh, Naughty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, one, one young chap wanted to get out of his GCSEs. Did he now? Yeah, so decided to shit in a kettle. What? So yeah, a lad shat in the teacher's kettle to dodge exams. A teacher's kettle? Teacher's kettle, yeah. Not, not one of his classmates' kettles. Not just his own kettle at no. home. No, oh no, no. In school, pooped in the kettle, right? Popped it onto boil. And of course then, the liquid boiled and it, we've made poop on, this, on the show, we know it dissolves. Does. And then the smell, and they had to evacuate the whole school. Ooh, hot poop. Hot poop. Hot, hot bubbling poop. Yes. Well done, that young man. Well that done, is, that lad. That is a clever, clever thing. That's that, really, really well done, right? Especially, right, because this was a few years ago, and he has now got a place at Oxford. Has he? Yes. On the boiling shit course? On the boiling shit course, yeah. Wow, yeah. life has no, just come up roses for so him. So he's basically got out of... His GCSEs, he had to obviously resit them, did A-levels and has now got a place in Oxford. But it just shows that, that genius can take many forms. It can indeed. I mean, to be fair, there aren't many um, staff rooms that have kettles now. There are all those, like, geezers. Geezers? Hot water geezers. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Is it the right word? <laughs> like I'm not a, sure. Like old man. <laughs> no. <laughs> They, they're like on the wall, box on the wall. Box on the wall, yeah. And then you pull the little lever and you put your cup underneath and the hot water goes straight into it. Do you not it. put your cup underneath and then pull the little yeah. lever? Yeah. I'm just thinking, hot water pouring, hand. Is it a geezer? An urn? No, because they're like on the wall all the time. Hot all, all the time. The, they're on the wall all the time. <laughs> hot water not all the time. Do I have to wait for the kettle to boil? Yeah. No. Anyway, it's just details. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one had a kettle. Do we need to say to people, please don't boil your own shit in a kettle? 
And if you've something to show us, oh, and Neville from Newcastle, I'm not sure that's possible, and certainly not while riding a unicycle, just give us a tag or DM us. We are at the Cud TV on all of your usual social media services and or platforms. And that brings us to this week's story of the week. Lee, food combinations. Oh, not another one. Another one. Oh, God. You like these. You get I to don't experience like foods. Them. What, 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 what's not like to like about new food combinations? Because they're vile, the ones you choose. This is not my choosing. These are ones that are given to me from the, the good people of the oh, Tinterweb. What is it this week? Well, this one was, was sent in by a viewer who has asked to remain nameless. Oh, sucker. <laughs> when they said, Mike, we've seen you Weetabix with, with beans. Yeah. And we've seen all the other joyful things we've tried, like how to make a cup of tea. Yes. Yeah, and how Americans make tea and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, well, this one is um, where someone said, Infinity War is the most ambitious crossover event in history. But you could also try Pop-Tarts mm -hmm. with ravioli. No. What do you mean, no? I'm just, I'm just putting it out there right now, no. Why not? Because you, you can't... Sweet and savoury do not mix. Sweet and savoury do mix. Don't, Mike. Of course they do. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's... <laughs> don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> so, you, you know, for trying these then? No. I've not got any with me because oh, I don't hooray. like Pop Tarts and I don't like tinned ravioli. Yeah. So I didn't what have you brought them. instead, Mike? I have not brought anything. Oh, that's okay, great. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that some oh, of our right, viewers okay. sent this in. And so, yeah. yeah. Well, you're well, safe well, this week. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> well, well done, weirdo that eats Pop Tarts and ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> you're just thankful that you don't have to have it. yourself. <laughs> You're just thankful you don't have to try these, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Is it around, Mike? <laughs> is it going to happen? Are you going to do something that... Because I know what you're like. You're expecting at any moment... Yeah, just to is there going to be one? To reach down here and pull out a bowl. I've not got one. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. My stomach thanks you. And so does my soul. Coming up, we have something Mike describes as beyond description. In that science, that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. He has gloved up and he's at a safe distance, so brace yourselves and get ready for... Science, that is. So I'm back again in my lovely little lab. Lee, have you got lots of things in front of you there? Well, this was, I thought last time was just a one-off. No, it's a forever thing. Oh. Yeah, there's a pile of gubbins on the desk. In front pile of me. gubbins. Okay. So today we're going to learn about bodily fluids. Well, didn't we do that last week? No, that was, that was a bodily secretion last week. Oh, two different things. Yes, different things. Okay. Um, so, in front of you, you should have some pots. I do, some Tupperware tubs. Little, little Tupperware tubs. So if you have a look in, in one of them, you should have like a gloopy stuff. That's the one. Clear. Clear gloopy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't smell of anything, and if you taste it, it should taste quite sweet. Do I trust you? Yeah, these are all human edibles. Human edibles? Human edibles, yes. Okay. I've had that a few times in my You have indeed, yeah. So there's fructose. Oh, that's what it's called, is it? Fructose, yeah. And then you should have a, a, a light dirty brown coloured powder. <laughs> dirty brown. Dirty brown. Um, yes, I do believe I do. And that's, that's protein powder. Protein. Protein powder. Is that to make one hench? It does make one hench. Does it? Yeah. How much does one have to take? <laughs> <laughs> a lot more than I'm oh. giving you. Um, then you should also have some white powders. Yes, I have, I have, I have two tubs of white powder. Okay, so the, the little tub that you've got there. Yes. Okay, that's a, a combination of cholesterol and zinc. And zinc? And zinc, yeah. Won't taste of anything. I'm not going to taste no. it. And an, another tub you should have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is a slightly more dense white powder. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, that's vitamin C powder. Oh! Ooh, so that's good for you. And then you should also have a little tiny tub which has got sodium in it. I do, a tiny little bit oh, of salt. Salt, okay. Do you know what all these things added together make? A human baby. Half of a human baby. Half? They're, top half or bottom half? The, no, it's half half because it, it's the components of semen. Oh, okay. So today we're going to be making semen. I can make that myself, Mike. But this will also be edible. Again? <laughs> I can make that myself, Mike. Not until you can't. <laughs> Do you know how long it takes you to make semen? <laughs> I think it's a never-ending supply. Yes, but a, a semen actually takes, or a sperm cell, takes 64 days to be created. Grief! And, yeah, and it can last for up to three weeks before it is, shall we say, expelled. To be fair, it doesn't last three weeks. <laughs> In no, an ice storage no, it, sack. Over millions are created every day. Millions. Millions and millions are created every day. Yeah. Like in a single shot, there's over a, hundred, over a million in a single shot. A single shot? A single shot. So shall we mix up our semen? If that's the way the day is going, let's do that it. Is the, so I'd, I'd suggest putting the fructose in first. Where am I going to put it, Mike? Into your big bowl. Oh, into my bowl? Yeah. Is this like a clear testicle? It is a clear testicle, oh, so okay. you can see what's going on in the middle. Okay. Oh. And then just add your powders. In any particular order, Mike? It can be in any order you like. Oh, do I mix at the same time? You can mix at the same time, or you can do what I do, which is I mix afterwards. So yeah, oh, okay. After the event, shall we I'm say. I'm going to put the brown stuff in. Oh, protein. Which I can't remember. Oh, protein. Protein, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to put the, um, the other white powder in. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to put the vitamin C in. And then just... just Mix it all together. Mix it all together. Yeah. Oh, that's some chunky cum, Mike. It, it will thin out, don't you worry. Your love juice will quite quickly thin out as you beat it. I can often put wallpaper up with mine. I don't know. Really? Do you know that's because um, when semen comes past the prostate, it gets thinned? It's the only thing about me that does, Mike. <laughs> So just keep beating it and it will thin out. It looks like porridge. It does, but it'll thin out, don't worry. Oh, um, <laughs> God's on baby batter. <laughs> That's actually what it's called, isn't it? But did you know certain everyday things can damage your sperm? Like a truck. Like a truck. Mm. Or a swift, a swift kick to the nads. Yes. Um, but hot underwear? Hot underwear. Yes, yeah, so, so restrictive underwear, smoking. Oh, not sexy underwear. No, not sexy. Um, smoking, drinking heavily. Placing one's testicles in a vice. That, that will also damage your sperm. Oh, yeah, it will. Yeah. So you're talking about the consistency yeah. of, of, our, of our current simulated semen being quite thick. Yeah, it is thinning. It is thinning as we, as we mix. Tatty water. What? Well, I call it tatty water. <laughs> tatty water? Yeah, potato water. See, potato water is something we get on a Sunday roast in our family. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> And that is very, very Lancashire. And Tatiwata uh -huh. um, is kind of like, is kind of like without any, any um, procreative power. Precum. Is that shooting Tatiwata? No, it's a precum. Yeah, well, no, no, it's, it's, yeah. No, because ev every, every sperm is able to, to be used for procreation. Yeah. Why, thank you for sharing uh, that, It's Mark. just some of them can't swim very well. Do you know of anything good about, about semen that you can use it for other than making babies? Hair gel. Hair gel? Yeah. Okay. Um, Have you ever heard the thing about it being good for your skin? No. No. Isn't it a, what we call an old wives tale that apparently um, getting um, man's juice on your face can actually make your skin soft? Yeah. Is that why your skin's so soft, Mike? It's actually not true. Is it not? It's not true. The opposite effect, is it? It's a Dries it out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but you can actually have a semen allergy. Ca oh, that'd be end of you, that wouldn't it? It would be. It's called human seminal plasma hypersensitivity. <gasps> I have to get it off a piece of paper. Wow. Um, even though I'm a scientist, uh, but it can cause difficulty breathing, rashes, all sorts. So, yeah. To be fair, 
again, that's pretty much what I experience in general. <laughs> Just walking upstairs though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but Old Wives tells also that things can, can change the taste and smell of semen. So I believe you have some things on your desk there that may impact with the taste of smell. I, I, I have some biscuits. Uh-huh. You have I have some, some nuts. Yeah, so a common misconception is that you can actually change the taste of your, your love juice um, by eating nuts. I did not know that, Molly. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Do you want me to eat the nuts or something? No, 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 I've just, just got them put... Oh, just there for an example. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we also got some lovely sweets. Yeah? Yeah? Have you heard the, the joke about Haribo makes it nicer? Yeah. Yeah, that's also not How cool. do you know, Mike? Huh? I've eaten a lot of cum. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Breakfast, dinner, yeah. and... Um, your, your semen and bodily fluid taste is completely based on your genetic makeup. Why do, Okay, then, why does my boyfriend's semen taste like beef crisps? Because he's genetically predisposed to taste like beef crisps. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, would you like to try your baby batter? I don't want to, but I have a feeling you're going to make me. I think that might be why we've got a biscuit. Because <laughs> we've spoken before about the biscuit game. So just just pop a little bit of, of your, your homemade baby batter on your biscuit. And, and My you, sack salad cream. The sack salad cream. Oh, I like that one. Just pop it on the end. Pop it on it. You might need to give it a bit of a scrape. Just the tip. There we go. And then chow down. Mm. I, don't, I don't like it. You don't like it? Kind of. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's not all. Did you know that your baby batter should be slightly alkaline as well? I, I don't get the litmus paper out on it, but I'll show you word for it. Should we see whether our, our, our brewed baby batter is alkaline or not? How are we going to do that, Mike? You should have some, some universal indicator fluid, which is the purple fluid. This stuff in a jar, in a uh, tube? Yeah, the purple stuff. Okay. That's not nice. Yeah, it's um, red cabbage water. Okay. If you pour that into your baby batter and give it a bit of a mix. See, I like that colour. I would If it turns blue, if it, it means you're there. alkaline, so you, you're producing good sperm. If it what? So if it's going blue, <gasps> you're producing good sperm. Oh, but it doesn't smell nice, Mike. Oh, no, it doesn't smell nice. It smells like cabbage water in Stinky. sperm. Stinky. Yeah. So I. I'm making good sperm here because it's gone blue. What my sperm is tip top. It's got, looks like a smurf Ooh. has jizzed in my bowl. You've got, you've got smurf jizz. And that's science, that is. That's science, that is. So, Mike, in pre production, you said that we were going to be making pearl necklaces. <laughs> I had a completely different idea of what that meant. I thought we were doing more Tiffany's in New York than Tiffany's in EastEnders. That literally was a bag of jizz. That's just about the end of the show this week, but we have just enough time to remind you we are on the Cud TV on social media, the Cud.tv for our website. And while you are on the website, have a look at the support section for exclusive clips, including outtakes. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>